Jason and Ashley, the page turns in a matter of minutes to the next chapter of your lives as you will officially become husband and wife. Be relieved that no one has ever done marriage perfectly, not a single soul on this planet. I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a peace of mind. It's a feeling that I tend to get. You, Jason, take Ashley to be your wedded wife. Do you promise to treasure your friendship and love her today, tomorrow, and forever? And trusting and honoring her, laughing and crying with her, you've got to share your life openly and honestly with her. And whatever may come, do you promise to always be there for her? You've got to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. Do you promise to willingly give your trust, devotion, tenderness, and love only to her as your wife? And if so, would you please tell her, I do. I do. Without further ado, welcome to Married Life in Two. Please accept all of our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes as you're about to cross that threshold into being forever linked as husband and wife. And do you, Ashley, take Jason to be your wedded husband? You promise to treasure your friendship and love him today, tomorrow, and forever? In trusting and honoring him, laughing and crying with him, do you vow to share your life openly and honestly with him? And whatever may come, do you promise to always be there for him? Do you vow to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? Do you promise to willingly give your trust, devotion, tenderness, and love only to him as your husband? And if so, would you please tell him, I do. I do. I give you this ring. As a constant reminder, as a constant reminder of my promise and commitment, of my promise and commitment to love and grow with you, to love and grow with you, and be faithful to you, and be faithful to you all the days of my life, all the days of my life. As a constant reminder, as a constant reminder of my promise and commitment, of my promise and commitment to love and grow with you, to love and, grow with you and be faithful to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And so these ribbons are wrapped around their hands, and we are celebrating their union and sending them off on a journey of discovery, which their love for one another will triumph over every obstacle and challenge they face on the journey ahead. Jason and Ashley, so you promise your love and commitment to one another before God and your family and friends. I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. Because now it is my distinct privilege to introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Ashley Shingledecker! I cannot believe how lucky I am to marry you. I'll never forget seeing you walk down the aisle today. It literally brought a tear to my eye. You're more beautiful in many ways than I can imagine. When you first told me your name. I couldn't be more thrilled for her and Jason. It's quite amazing when somebody finds their person and I'm so happy that she has found hers. Cheers to love finding your other half during a global pandemic and to your new life together. Congratulations, Ashley and Jason. I want to say, Ashley, thank you. And from the Shingledecker side of the family, we all welcome you. Thank you very much. And we look forward to the, you two in the future to watch how you bloom together. You complement each other so well. We want to see you keep growing together, and we know you will. I don't know where this road leads. All I know um, is Jason's older brother. I've always looked after him. Since he met Ashley, she has since taken over that role. And as of today, she officially gets the passing of the torch as they move forward together. Jason, enjoy this moment because it's the first and last time in your marriage that you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> I 
Yes, yes it is important that you agree your first child be named after me, but you know that's okay. I'm just kidding, obviously. At the end of the day, one thing I've learned in my marriage is we don't have to agree, and that's okay because their opinions, their views. You know, once we uh, really sit down and decide what's best for us to move forward, that's what's important. So let's raise a glass to each other to love and to happily ever after.